Hello everyone, Nikki here, standing just outside the Sunnybrook Hospital. The most popular hospital, well, one of the popular hospitals in the city. And it has a huge campus. I think it's about the same size as the Humber College North Campus. But anyways, I'm revisiting the place I used to go to all the time to visit my grandfather because he stayed in a long-term care home here. But yeah, I mean, judging by how many buildings there are, like this, this campus is just like the Humber College. Like, no kidding, the Humber College North Campus, no kidding, it's, it's huge. And also it's uh, surrounded by a lot of nature. You know what? Where should I go? Should I go this way or the other way? How about I just go for a walk around? You know, how about I just go this way? Oh, there's another airplane. I... What airline is it? Oh, what a dumb question I'm asking. Of course I can't see the airline. Too high up, but for some reason I just like to point at the airplanes every single time I see one coming. Oh my gosh, they're doing some construction here. So really, every weekend we would come here and see my grandfather. I remember this place so well. I remember the inside of the hospital really well. And I haven't set foot in that hospital since my grandfather died in 2012. So really, the last time I set foot in here was 2012, which was over 10 years ago. Okay, so where can I cross? I know there's, okay, so basically this is an exit right there. The exit that takes you onto the street. And, uh, just a little bit north of there, of here, is the York University Glendon campus. And just south of here is East York. Now, whenever we did see my grandfather, we would always park in that parking lot in the building. We never parked on top. We never parked, like, on the very top, but uh, I know we always parked in like the, the same spot like almost every time. I mean, do you have to like, do you have to have like a, your special parking spot here? Because I feel like we always have to, like, we always park the car in the same spot every time we came here. Well, what do I know? Now, obviously, the hospital's not uh, another airplane coming. Hmm, maybe I could tell what airline it is. Nope, it's flying too high and, well, it's flying directly over me and the sun's in my eyes. But anyways, sorry if I'm driving you guys crazy. I have to point the camera to the airplanes. I just have to. So, yeah, now, the thing about hospitals is that I know it's a scary place because you're surrounded by sick people and whatnot. It's, it's not the fun place to be, but you know what? At the same time, it can actually be uh, can actually be quite interesting. I mean, there's a lot of science here. Like, for example, Thompson Anxiety Disorder Center. Like, you know, there's Breast Cancer Center. There's, you know, there's, hospitals have science labs, so there's a lot of science involved. kind of tempted to take the stairwell all the way up to the top, but uh, am I even allowed to go in there? Uh, you know what? No. It's not even that important. I think that's the emergency room because basically 
what there is is that uh, there's there's an underground pathway around here. I think I'm like walking right on top of it, but it goes underground and it takes you from this long-term care home right here to the other end. And, you know, because basically that's the emergency room. That's where people go when they sick, when they're sick. So basically you take the elevator down in the basement and then you roll their hospital beds underground to that hospital over there. Now, every time we parked our car, we used to go for, we used to walk right here. You know, we would come out that door just over there and walk along here. But it's such a, it's very nice, this area. I wonder what's down there. Okay, I'd, okay, it's, I feel it's kind of rude for me to point the camera down there because, you know, if somebody saw me pointing the camera towards them, they might get pretty upset. But yeah, this right here is long-term care home. One of the most popular hospitals in the city. But you know what? Now that I'm here, I'm kind of liking this area. I mean, not the, not the hospital area, but you know what? Since it's so nice, since there's a lot of gardens here, even though, despite the fact that I'm a nature fan, I'm not a huge fan of gardens, but... You know, it's it's always nice to go for a stroll just around the campus. I already did a walk around the U of T campus, so maybe one day I'll go for a walk around the York University campus. So yeah, I think my my we would basically park our cars right around here. And this is P1, so yeah, there's like how many stores there are? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think there's like six stories here. And right now, it's feeling like spring and it it kind of smells a little bit like spring. Yeah, spring time, spring in February always makes me feel good. Because at least it gives me a period of respite from winter. Nothing beats spring in February. And that's kind of the reason I came out here. Because, you know, there's no excuse to stay at home all day if it's just so nice outside, you know? Because nice weather like this is just not going to last forever. And the grass is still green. I think this might be Kentucky bluegrass because Kentucky bluegrass does seems to keep doesn't seem to doormat as much. Okay, I don't I don't really want to walk under this roof, so I'll just walk right here. Now we've got 11 Bayview, which is Nova Bus LFS. Now 11 route number 11 used to be a Wilson route. And then it got moved to Eglinton when McNichol opened. There's the Orion 7 NG diesel. It's the bus. They're on the Route 124. I'm going to be hopping on that bus after I end this video. I'll probably have to film a ride on it too. Because that's what I plan to do. Oh yeah, it's such a glorious day. I can't say this enough. It's, yes, yeah, Mild temperatures, really sunny, and oh god, security car. I hope I don't get in trouble. Okay, maybe I should just back away. I mean, I'm not like, okay, to be fair, I'm not filming inside, but uh, yeah, you know, what? I'll probably just have to cut through. All right. <sighs> wow, I'm really getting hot. You know what? I should probably just undo my jacket all the way. Now this here is the K-Wing, so basically it's, um, 
long-term care home is divided into to different wings like you know every every hospital like every long-term care home has different wings like there's h wing you know it's it's kind of like i think those wings have to like are just uh separating each long-term care home you know because like the wings just divide the home and yeah this this place is huge so i mean it's i mean you know i i used to go in there all the time but you know what though okay this is four stories so i'm not gonna go in okay first of all i have no business to go in there so really unless you know you're visiting someone in a long-term care home you really have no business in there and second of all you know like um no way am i going to be filming in there would i film in there now if i were to go in there which i'm not i would not film in there because i have no doubt that security is going to tell me to stop filming because from what i've heard you're really not supposed to record inside of a hospital like because you know just for privacy reasons like i don't think you could just walk off the street and go into a long-term care home so you know it's uh not uh it's not really that smart now this is right here is veterans hill trail and we've got the p-wing the g-wing so Really, I, I feel like I'm learning a little bit about this campus. So, really, it's uh, divided into separate uh, separate buildings. Okay, so let's see where this trail takes me to. I have to make sure that nothing falls out of my pockets in the wind. And I'm only at 12 and a half minutes, so really I have lots of time to film around here. Now there's also Sunnybrook Park. I think this uh, trail just leads towards Sunnybrook Park because Really, Sunnybrook is just the name the name of this neighborhood. Now, I can tell you one thing though. Um, we, a lot of times, my grandfather, my dad, and I would sit down in the main hall downstairs. There was a fireplace there, and I would look out the window and watch the buses coming down. And, uh, yeah, so I can remember seeing NG hybrids and NG diesels at the time. I've been on Route 11, but I've never been on the 124. But, yeah, you could go either way. And you see, so since I can't film inside the long-term care home, I'll, I'll just have to describe it. So basically, you know, when you get to uh, um, that lobby area or that the hallway where the uh, where um, you know where the elevators are, so basically you get you go inside where the lobby is, then you walk down that corridor, and there was there were basically vending machines along the way and then there's a tim hortons there and then just when you get past the tim hortons you're in the hallway where you know there's where there's basically a venue where they hold host live events and then there's a garden there a courtyard okay i'm gonna turn around and come back so yeah there was a courtyard and uh or maybe not i don't know so yeah, there was a courtyard, and and yeah, I used to go there all the time, and and just where that courtyard is, there's a, a 1920s Model T Ford car on display, and there was actually one time where I managed 
to sneak inside of that Model T because basically the windows were open. And then my dad, my dad had to get me out of there. He said, come on, Nikki, I don't think you're allowed in there. But yeah, it was pretty cool. I used to love looking at that Model T car. Now, one funny thing is though, the way they uh, numbered their floors, instead of numbering their floors the usual way, like really the ground floor is really the first floor, then the floor above the ground floor is the second floor, then the next floor is the third floor. Well, actually they, na they called, they named the ground floor. When you go into the elevator, the ground floor button is basically just a G, okay? But the second floor was considered the first floor, the third floor was considered the second floor, and the fourth floor was considered the third floor. That is so unusual. I don't even know why they do that. I think it should be ground two, three, four, not ground one, two, three, four, because the ground floor is the first floor. This doesn't really make sense. And then, now my grandfather was, okay, may, maybe I won't disclose what floor he stayed on. But uh, um, I do know that when you get when you get out of the elevator, there's basically this hallway where people can congregate. There's a TV there. There's like a a place to sit down and eat, or there's a, like a there's a, basically a bookcase there. They have books, and you know they have a sink. So really. That's like the main, that's like where, where my dad and my grandfather would hang out a lot of times. Okay. I hope I don't get lost here. But man, this is such, this is such a nice place. It's very quiet here. So yeah, that's for your information. That's all I know about the inside of the Sunnybrook Hospital. But yeah, it's, there were a lot of good times there. I, I wouldn't say this place is nostalgic though. I know I said I'm loving it. I'm only loving it because I'm, you know, I come here. I haven't been here in so long and I thought it's good to just visit this place again. But at the same time, being inside a hospital is not that good, okay? Other than the fact that they have all cool, they have those cool science stuff, you know, science equipment and and whatnot. There's really nothing good inside hospitals. Well, there's really nothing good inside long-term care homes. Let's put it this way. So, yeah, and besides, you know, you go into a hospital or a long-term care home, it always has this weird smell, you know. You walk... All hospitals and long-term care homes, even universities, smell the same, and it's not really that good. It smells kind of like cleaning supplies and whatnot, you know? So this is why I don't consider this place nostalgic, but it's always good to visit here, even though I'm not going to go in. Okay, now I'm going to walk back. to uh, the main area and finish my walk around and uh, you know maybe I'll just I guess I'll just hop on the bus and come back home Now I don't even know what to talk about next. Honestly, I don't. Just give me something to talk about. Well, at least uh, we're, at least I'm almost at the 20 minute mark. And yeah, there's no way this video is gonna be as long as my previous video.
This building looks really old. Looks kind of like a house there. Yeah, well, I'm not really that big on old stuff. And here comes the security car again. Well, don't tell me I can't film here on, on the campus, okay? I'm not filming inside of the hospitals or long-term care homes, so really, I don't see what the problem is. I guess they're just, maybe they're just uh, trying to patrol for other stuff. Okay, let's go this way. So this street is basically a uh, Veterans Hill Trail. Oh boy, this hill's getting steep again. I think the courtyard is just right along here, but there's no crosswalk. I mean, there's no sidewalk, my bad. I think that uh, roadway is just strictly for cars. Why do those hills have to be so steep? You know, on first thought I had the, I had the idea to just take the 124 bus straight to here, but you know what? I thought it would be more ideal if, it, if I just hiked to here, which is what I did. I was gonna say this could be a place, a good place to come for transit fanning purposes, but really there's only two bus routes here that, that stop here. So really that's not the point. That's, uh, what's the point, you know? Okay, let's, let's go right here. You know, I used to actually see this hospital on TV during the pandemic, like, I think they hosted like a COVID testing or vaccination clinic here, but a lot of the people who got tested positive, who were not actually, no, the people who actually had COVID-19, a lot of them ended up in this hospital and I think something just got on my eye. See, this is, this is why, what I'm saying I don't like the windy weather, so there's always something getting in my eyes. You know, this is why you gotta be very careful in the wind because you gotta keep your eyes open. And, and there was actually a time in 2021 where the hospitals were, were just overpacked. They were packed to the gills and... Okay, let's, uh, can we go over there? Yeah. The hospitals were, this, this place was just packed to the gills. In fact, since it was so packed, there was no room inside. They, those patients even had to ha have their treatments outside. You know, like that's uh, a little gruesome, or you know, what I should say. But you know, it's you don't want to be having your treatments outside because really the, the capacity levels is, is just unacceptable. You know, 
Okay, can I go for a walk right along here? Now this one says level 2A. There's 2A and 3A. Okay, probably cut through here. Now this yard right here, somehow it reminds me of that courtyard at Humber College North Campus. Okay, let's try to climb the stairs. I don't really like those type of stairs where there's a gap in between. Basically, it's it just holds every platform and there's a gap in between. It just makes me feel unsafe. It makes me worry that I'm gonna slip right, I'm gonna fall right through the, through the gap. Wait a second, I see a Nova Bus LFS hybrid running on the 124. Is that, is that Nova hybrid even supposed to be running on 124? Because I could tell it's a Nova hybrid by that big red thing at the top. Yeah, it is an Nova hybrid. But you see, 124 is a Wilson route. I'm pretty sure the Nova hybrids did not move to Wilson. At least I highly doubt it. They're either in the Malvern or the Arrow Road division. So that could be a rad that I'm seeing right now. It probably is, you know, because you see run as directed is when there's a type of bus running on its route, not operated by its own division. Captured that hospital smell as soon as that door opened. Yep. Now, 3515, I'm pretty sure that's a. Something tells me it's a new Arrow Road bus. So, yeah, I, at least I captured a rat, or at least what I think it's a rat. You know what, mate, I could probably catch it if it continues. So you know what? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh yeah, if you enjoy this I'll probably have to catch it. Holy oh, gosh, the wind's gonna blow my hat off any moment. I'm like, you know what if you guys enjoy this, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And uh yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.